Hi welcome to Chart Review. Today we'll be covering a 2015 comedy film called Mei Hu. The movie opens up with the schoolboy Pong narrating the fact that there is no equality in the human world. He feels like the people are categorized into different groups. After that, he starts explaining all the different groups of students present in his school. First of all, he mentions the sixth group which contains the students who do not have any special talents. In the fifth group, he categorizes the students who bully and trouble others throughout their day. Continuing this, in the fourth group he has placed the nerds. To think about studying all the time, in third place he has placed the athletes and in second the beautiful girls who have the most followers on Instagram. And finally in the first place he has placed the group of leaders, particularly the superstar of their school fame. Fame participates in almost every school activity. He tops the exams and also participates in various sports. And at last Pong mentions himself who is known by no one and does not have any friends. He is attending a class while he is narrating the story. As soon as the class comes to an end, the bullies. From the class approach Pong and ask him to create some art with their football. In the next scene we see Pong in the playground looking at his crush Ming. Suddenly one of the boys in the playground kicks the football which lands near me. She asks Pong about the football and returns it to him. The entire time Pong is just staring at her. At night, after reaching home, Pong starts drawing his brief interaction with Ming in his drawing book. He is actually a good sketch artist who likes to draw his imaginations and be the hero in his imaginative world. The next morning Pong wakes up late for school with his somehow able to submit. His homework on time. However, because of the rush, he accidentally submits his drawing book instead of his homework book. He discovers his mistake at the assembly. Shortly after, he runs back to the staff room to exchange his book, but before he can do it, a girl has taken away the book to distribute it to the class in the classroom. Pong's drawing book ends up with Ming and she's looking through all his drawings along with the entire class. Through his drawings, she has learned how Pong has exaggerated their meeting the day before and presented it in a very dirty way. When Pong reaches the classroom and angry, Thing throws his book at his head. As a result, he gets humiliated and eventually flees from the classroom. Later, we see Pong hiding inside the storeroom. Meanwhile, he gets a call from his classmate Pura, who tells him that everyone in the classes looked through his drawings and are laughing at him. After that, Pierre informs him about the girl who gave his drawing book to Ming. He tells Pong that the girl's name is Mei Hu. Learning this, Pong heads to confront Mei and ask her why she gave his book to me. Mei, who is in the washroom, comes out to see Pong waiting for her. She replies to him that she gave the drawing book to Ming. Because she saw her picture drawn inside it. While Mei is about to leave, Pong tries to grab her. As soon as he touches her hands, he gets an electric shock and is pushed away from Mei. Confused, Mei runs away, but not before she drops a picture of fame from her bag. That night, Pong continues thinking about how he got the electric shock from Mei. Little while later, he starts imagining Mei and draws about a girl giving electric shocks to other people. The next day, he photocopies his drawing about Mei and distributes it all over the school. Mei arrives at school and is taken aback to find the drawing that implies. Giving electric shocks to people, she searches for Pong and apologizes to him for whatever she did with his drawing book. Pong then asks her to show him the device, which she used to shock him. Before hearing this, Mei gets angry and decides to leave. Right then, Pong shows her the photo of fame she had dropped earlier. Maya's heartbeat increases and her watch starts to beat. Pong tries to look at her watch, but gets an electric shock again. After the incident, Mei runs away saying that she will leave school. At her home, Mei tells her parents that a boy from her school knows about her condition. Soon we are shown. Flashbacks from each childhood where a doctor informs her parents that she is suffering from a unique disease. The doctor explains that when man's heart beats fast, she will develop an electric charge within her which she has to release in order to feel normal again. This is how she damages each of her house appliances. Finding no cure for the condition, her father makes her wear a watch-like device which would monitor her heart rate and ring an alarm whenever her heart rate exceeds 120 beats per minute. He also suggests that she stay away from people after the alarm goes off at present May's father. This is her power to charge some batteries at home. The next day, May arrives at school and asks for a transfer form from the principal. 
It seems like she has made up her mind to leave the school. She watches Fame play basketball and tells them goodbye. On her way out of the school, she notices Pong asking for the drawings back from the students and destroying them. May approaches him and asks why he is doing so, to which he replies that he does not want me to leave the school because of him. While they're talking, they don't even realize there's a fire beside them. Soon the fire starts growing in. May runs to grab a fire extinguisher to put it out. While she is doing so, her heart rate increases and the watch starts beeping. Pong asks her if she can emit electric volts and tells her that she is a superhero. However, May replies that she is not a hero and walks away. In the following scene, we can see me at the football field watching Fame play as a goalkeeper. Suddenly, a football rose near May and Fame approaches her to take the ball back. Seeing Fame come near, Maya's heart starts beating fast and she runs away. Fame follows her and asks her if she would like to join the marathon with his team. May stops from a distance, shouts at Fame, asking him to go away. Confused by the sudden outburst, Fame tells her that he is following her just to get the ball back before returning. He again asks her to come to the field the next day in case she changes her mind elsewhere. 516. After being insulted by Ming and her bully friends, Hong visits Mei and asks her to give him an electric shock. As he is very sad, she obliges and zaps him, making him fall unconscious. The scene then shifts to Mei's house, where we can see Pong enjoying dinner with her parents while doing the dishes. He asked me to help him. On the other hand, Mei also reveals that Famous asked her to join his team for the relay race competition. Hearing this, Pong gets delighted. He then motivates me by reminding her that Fame chose her over many other girls at school. The next day, Pong forces me to talk with Fei. Soon after, Fame takes her to the field and makes her practice running with his team. Surprisingly, May overruns every participant in selected for the competition team. A few days later, in the qualifying round of the relay race, Fei motivates her to run faster because of this. May wins the race but gets injured in the process. When Fame comes near to congratulate her, May again runs away from him as her heart starts beating fast. Later, Maya, sitting alone in the restroom and Pong, arrives there with the tissue to wipe her blood. Seeing Pong caring for her, May hugs him. In the following scene, Fame can be seen asking me for a practice run late at night. May immediately calls Pong and tells him about the proposal. While explaining this, Meg gets very excited and starts releasing electricity. Concerned for his friend, Pong starts searching for various alternatives to help prevent. From zapping fame during their encounter, Pong brings electric proof gloves, a plastic rod for relay, and some other stuff to make their encounter normal. During their conversation, we can see them getting comfortable with each other. On his way back home, Pong realizes that he is getting closer to Mei, so he repeatedly utters that he only loves Ming in the next scene, Mei is getting herself ready for the practice session with fame. While they are practicing, Mei's watch starts beeping. Fame notices it and asks her to let him wear her watch, but breaks it while practicing. Embarrassed, he promises to buy. For a new one elsewhere, Pine sends his drawings to me. She takes it and starts going through the drawings. Later, after skimming through them, she approaches Pong and tells them that although the drawings are impressive, she does not believe that Pong made the drawings. Based on her on the field it starts raining, which forces Fame and May to take shelter at the stadium there. Fame asked me if she would like to go to dinner with them after they win the relay race. He also asked her if she is seeing anyone at the moment and May replies with a no. May gets very excited talking with him and unknowingly electrocutes. Because of the heavy rain, afraid May runs away, blaming herself for everything concerned. Pong follows her home where May's locked herself in her room and is not willing to see anyone to help me cheer up. Pong stays at Max's house and draws all night to make her realize that there is no problem in being different from normal people. Through his drawings, he conveys the message to me that there is always a solution for her condition and she should not be afraid about who she is. He draws pictures of fame and made together were famous, helping her to adapt to those conditions after going through Pong's drawings. May feels better and finally comes out of her room. The next day. Ming asked me for some help and takes her to a place in the school. There she leaves me with the beauty girls group and locks the gate. The girls are about to attack Mei, but Pong arrives in the nick of time and sprays them with a fire extinguisher. However, Pong himself gets captured by the girls and they move forward to hurt Mei. Out of nowhere, 
Fame appears and asks the girls why they were trying to hurt her. The girls reveal to him that they are doing all of this on the orders of the Ming and emotional. Ming reveals that she did all of this so she could be closer to him. And seeing they get closer to him made her angry. After admitting this, Ming leaves. Pang, however, tells Fame that Mei wants to tell him something and runs towards me. Pang tries to console Ming, reminding her about her caring nature. Pang's efforts to cheer her up surprise me. On the other hand, Mei discloses her rare condition to Fame. She also tells him that it would be good for him to stay away from her. After listening to this Fame comes closer to Mei and proposes to her to be his girlfriend. After they win the competition, the scene then shifts to Mei, who is telling Pong. But the proposal she received from Fame earlier, she further asked Pong about his meeting with Ming. Pong replies that Ming liked his drawings but not him. Although he is sad, Pong encourages is made to win the competition which is going to be held tomorrow. The day of the competition finally arrives. We can see all the students of every group present in the stadium. However, Pong is inside his room as he feels no one cares about him at the school. He then takes out his drawing book where he is drawn about his interactions with Mei. He goes through the drawings and realizes that he likes me shortly after. He decides to go to the competition and confess his love for me. In the next scene, we see that the really races started and Pong is standing beside Fame to compete with them. He runs alongside Fame and tries to distract him. Pong also asked me to lose the race, but despite this, she wins the race for her team. After the race Mei approaches Fame and tells him that she cannot be his girlfriend. Fame replies that he knew it right away when she gave him an electric shock while looking at Pong during the race. He also suggests she follow her heart into whatever she feels is right later. After the medal ceremony, there is a closing ceremony where everyone is holding each other's hands and forming a chain. During this, Mei holds Pong's hands and tries to distract herself so that her heartbeat won't rise. However, Pong messes up everything when he looks at her and tells her that they can now be a couple. Because of this, Mei electrocutes everyone connected in the chain. At last, Pong tells everyone that he must think of an alternative to be together with his electric girlfriend. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for movie review.